What is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Coast, and welcome to another episode of Adam Lance Garcia Doesn't Know What He's Talking About. Alright, so, uh, <laughs> this tweet came out the other night from, uh, not the other night, um, yesterday from Adam Lance Garcia once again. The guy that was running damage control for uh, Ryan Johnson. And of course, he has the uh, this annoying thing people do when they want to emphasize uh, words in their tweets. Luke was never trained to fly an X Wing. Use a force pull, do lightsaber combat, do a force choke, build a lightsaber. And it doesn't matter. Because this is a story about space wizards intended for children. Oh. Yes, guys. <sighs> Whenever someone doesn't like a thing, oh, it was intended for kids, guys. What are you getting? What are you grown adults getting so worked up over? It? Yeah. It was intended for children. Right. And there's so many things wrong with this tweet, and somehow. Uh, his bots gave him 6.7 likes uh, and counting on this tweet, but everyone hated this tweet. This guy just comes up, Luke was already a pilot. Now, hold up, hold up. First of all, four children, <laughs> this is Count Dooku's arms getting chopped off. Vader force choking Padme, kids getting killed. <laughs> This guy just saying, why are Disney Star Wars movies all rated PG-13 if it's meant for children? Exactly. This guy, props to him. The scene in episode 4 on the Falcon, Luke practicing the saber against the Revolt is the first time he consciously connects to and uses the Force. As Obi-Wan tells Luke, you've taken your first step into a larger world. And of course, there was and there was no reply. <laughs> this guy at the bottom, it's hilarious. But it's just like the nerve. Oh man! And they sit there and they arrogantly like tell you, oh, like you shouldn't care. Like, no, we should care. We are fans of this franchise for a reason. I mean, and he's just some dude online who pretends to be a fan of this. Of, of, this series and it's embarrassing when he posts stuff like this it just makes all star wars fans look bad anyone who liked his tweet <laughs> you should don't call yourself a star wars fan please You're an embarrassment to all of us this is like the second time he's gone after the uh, the fans of this movie in order to run to run damage control and be like just so he could be like oh you see the last jedi was it so bad? It was only as bad as the original trilogy was. <laughs> it's it's ridiculous how they do this. Yeah. It just gives me a headache just thinking about just how how poor this reasoning and logic is. Okay. There are several instances in Star Wars Episode Four that allude to Luke's piloting skills. In the past, Biggs Darklighter, who he meets in uh, in the movie, I know they cut uh, from the original from the original uh, film. I know they cut uh, him out of the film like almost entirely. But in the scenes where he's in, he, he's like, Luke is the best bush pilot I know. And even in um, the scene where he meets Ben Kenobi, Obi-Wan Kenobi is like, I hear you're an accomplished pilot yourself. And Luke is like, yeah, you know, I, I got to like that. The whole beginning of the movie with Luke centers around him going to uh, pick up parts for the T-16, which is basically a training vehicle for people that want to become pilots. It was a famous training vehicle. He plays with a model of a T-16 in the movie. He, <laughs> he 
He says, I used to bullseye WAP rats from my T16, and they're not bigger than, ten, than uh, not much bigger than two meters. I mean, it's just like, you got to know what you're talking about. And this guy clearly does. And I guess that's why he's a verified check mark on Twitter. Okay. It doesn't surprise me. <clears throat> Do lightsaber combat. Oh, oh, wow. Well, I mean, I guess the three years in between episodes four and five, uh, he wasn't training by himself um, based on uh, the simple instructions that the basic instructions that Obi-Wan gave him. I guess he, he was just sitting around all day waiting for the Empire to come and come and take him. I, I guess he wasn't doing any self-training. I mean, and all of this is just absolutely terrible, terrible excuse-making. I, I guess he's... And, and I despise this guy for trying to equate Luke Skywalker with Rey, the Mary Sue, in any kind of way. I mean, their characters are, are completely different. Ray has absolutely zero uh, training, but she can always she can already use like mind tricks and stuff like that. That's like if Luke showed up in the first movie and was able to already able to do a mind trick, already able to do a freaking force choke in the first movie. Like, come on! And it's it's so bad. I'm not, if you go back and watch the first video I did of him and Ryan Johnson trying to still trying to run damage control for for the last Jedi it's to any Star Wars fan it's just sickening um, yeah this is just like outright dis dissing the fans and then of course he has what I don't know how many likes I, I do hope he gets ratioed eventually he probably will anyone with a brain who's ever watched these films is on this thread at just just oh wait hold on let me log into twitter just so y'all can see it oh yeah wait hold on he was never trained to use force pull but he, he was he learned the skill he learned how to connect to the force with obi-wan that was the first step to lightsaber combat yeah, he figured that out on his own, and he still got owned by Vader, even when he, even when he, <laughs> even when he did kind of learn. So he wasn't invincible. If this was Rey, Rey would have probably destroyed Vader in the first fight. And it doesn't matter. It, it doesn't matter because this is a story for kids. Meanwhile, Aunt Beru and Uncle Owen are burning, are still burning. <laughs> the skeletons are still burning. But it's for children, though. It's for children. All right, let, let me just show you show you guys how this dude is getting wrecked. All right. This guy, your trolling is bad. It's hilarious. And of course, some guy coming along. Where in the movies is it made clear that there that there's been three years between A New Hope and Empire? It is established canon. <laughs> like Lucas isn't gonna spoon feed you information. Like all the time. <laughs> all right. Yeah, this is where he gets wrecked. Okay. Apparently he. He was like, ah, oh, I see, I misread, but that still doesn't explain how he learned how to, how to it. <laughs> Just friggin' annoying, dude. Yeah, this dude's an asshole. It's an introduction to it. Oh yeah, this guy absolutely destroys him. It's an introduction to a new skill. It begins with a feeling. How are you a, an effing writer? <laughs> are you just being contrived and disingenuous for the sake of protecting your new films or cultural milestones, whether the fans like them or not, agenda? That's literally what he's doing, or he's just being completely oblivious to the source material. There are plenty of books and comics in the Star Wars canon that have worse writing 
and the last jedi and plenty that have better but they have but they market these things like they're some sort of milestone in science fiction when they just ain't and then they have the effing cheat to tell us why we're wrong these are bad movies because xyz no you're wrong it's like who the f do they think they are <laughs> they think they're elite they think they're better than you <laughs> they think they know more than you you know people with opinions same as you ultimately uh, I don't know I think they're just being kind of stubborn <laughs> this guy I get your point but he was literally taught all of those things he makes reference to flying from a young age <laughs> of course when he makes reference to flying from a young age which he would have been taught Obi-Wan teaches him basics Yoda teaches him the rest in Empire lifting an X-wing out of water is harder than crushing a neck and he fixed droids so building a lightsaber is not that far-fetched no when he was when was he trained to pilot a military starfighter and also lifting an x-wing is no harder than lifting a rock size matters not i'm sure he's wait hold up hold up Where did he get the Kuiper crystal? This is not what size matters not mean. By this logic, any Jedi could pull ships out of orbit or lift up Separatist tanks as easy as a rock. He was going to attend the military academy and flew the simulations along with the ships he and his friend raced. Exactly, like, the hell? Of course size matters, otherwise the Death Star wouldn't be a threat at all. It's crushing, it would be very easy with the Force. When was he trained to pilot a military starfighter? He piloted his own starship, which had the same controls. He says he is a good pilot. Obi-Wan says his friend, his own friend in the Rebellion says it. That's enough. Exactly. Like, it just frustrates me, frustrates me to, to no end that people like this are just relentlessly targeting fans of this franchise and, uh, and just sort of a... a really low effort um, kind of troll and uh, it's just really annoying because you have uh, people like Adam Lance Garcia they know they know that their movie was garbage they know that everyone despises their their movie and now they're they're acting like oh well uh, well we aren't as bad as the OT <laughs> they're trying to sneak this the OT by doing this <laughs> And uh, I guess Star Wars fans don't realize how much of an insult that is. I, mean, I, I guess the people liking his thing aren't even Star Wars fans. It's, he's getting absolutely blown up in the comments by, by Star Wars fans. It's ridiculous, you know? Uh, anyway, it's your boy Kos. Um, yeah, we'll see. All right, all right. I thought it was the end, but wait, hold up, hold up. I have an even more <laughs> egregious offense by quote-unquote fan or uh i don't even know if he really considers himself a fan <laughs> this sensational sven says i don't want to be this guy but he talks about flying his t-16 sky hopper back home in the legends expanded universe it has almost it had almost the exact controls of, as an x-wing to explain why it was handy to train on them but then it would be having to use the eu stuff to explain everything which is what which is always the fundamental flaw of that argument. The EU explained a lot of stuff in the films, usually decades later. And it's okay there, and it should be okay when a book is released before, 
at the same time or shortly after the film explains it. Wow. Wow. But the argument I keep getting from uh, Disney fans as to why they couldn't keep the old EU was because people would have to read books. And now they're expecting you to read books. Oh my god, it's almost like they could have stuck with the old EU for backstory. It's all... Oh my god. Anyway, let's continue. Technically speaking, my car has the same controls as a Bugatti, but I'm sure I should not <laughs> just hopping in one and winning a race my first try. I love this comment, but being that guy again, <laughs> both the T-16 and X-Wing were made by the same company. The Rebels in Legends used the T-16 to train pilots under the Empire's nose because of the similarities. But I get where you're coming from. Yeah, and then he goes on to say this, this genius comment. Yeah, but that's like saying Volvo made cars and planes, so clearly they have the same controls. <laughs> God, guys, T-16 and the X-Ray are both flying vehicles. It's not a speeder to X-Ray comparison. <laughs> oh my goodness. It just infuriates me just <laughs> reading it, just reading, reading his comments. He flew and raced a heavily modified T-16 Skyhopper his whole life. That's like learning to drive on a Shelby Mach 1 and then getting behind the wheel of a modern Camaro piece of cake. <laughs> when is it established in the film that his T-16 is heavily modified? And isn't it more comparable to learning to drive a 68 Shelby Mac and then being put on a jet plane? He's going to Tashi Station to pick up power converter mods for his T-16. You can infer from Owen's response that he does this kind of thing all the time. Thank you. It's like, jeez, man. <laughs> Luke was literally, Luke literally was trained to fight with the lightsaber blindfolded, though. <laughs> Live footage of you and your buddies crying because Ray isn't liked, but Luke is cry. Keep crying. <laughs> if it's a story about space wizards intended for children, why do we need an entry that is all about failure, deconstructing the universe, and subverting expectations? You think many six year olds appreciated TLJ for those things? Anyway, and someone asks a very important question, how is this guy verified? <laughs> Good point. Well, anyway, uh, it's your boy, Coach. Come and check out this post. I mean, it is just, <laughs> to a Star Wars fan, this is as close to blasphemy as you get. <laughs> All right, um, it's your boy, Coach, so I think I'm going to sign off. It's for children. It's supposed to be <laughs> shit. <laughs> but it, it's just funny to read through these comments of people just absolutely just bodying him. Man. All right. It's your boy, Coach, signing out. Uh, peace.